Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. In a previous video a while back, I decided to run through these famous landing challenges one at a time for the first time and just do them once. I tried them each once. Since then, they've added a few I noticed. So there are three, uh, sorry, four new ones. But the idea was I would just try them once and see how good I could do, given that I had not seen them before. And well, you saw the scores there. <laughs> and some of them went well, some of them went badly. Uh, at the instigation of one of my viewers, I will proceed to do the same with the epic category of landing challenges. These will be a lot harder. Uh, probably needless to say, they are epic. Uh, how did they describe them again? Uh, they said, short airstrips, treacherous terrain, dramatic approaches, and harrowing descents, as opposed to well-known locations and challenges that are well within reach. So, uh, this is going to be worse. And again, I haven't done any of these. I'm, and I've heard of them. Actually, Kershevel I've landed at separately, and Lukla I've seen in many simulators before. Uh, and uh, Paro I remember from a video by uh, Mentor Pilot, I think, uh, uh, on YouTube. So, yeah, uh, some of these I'm familiar with, but I have not tried these challenges at all. So I am going to do so, and I'll put all the caveats in. This is probably going to go badly, uh, because I might not even be able to see where the darn airport is. We'll find out. So let me just go through them. Can't be just two points, can it? That doesn't seem right. They better be counting our points right. There's no way it's just two points, right? Anyway, okay, well, let's see. Grand Caravan, how hard could it be? <laughs> Okay, it's a Grand Caravan. You can't go wrong with one of those. Haven't I done this one before? I swear I've seen this before. Hmm. Maybe they reset it or something. Oh, maybe they had, had this as one of those uh, weekly challenge things, but then they changed it somewhat or something. So uh, keep that in mind. I might have done this one before, but it would have been a while ago and I don't remember the details. Uh, I think I need to keep going this direction and get really close to that hill right there. Maybe even closer than I'm getting. Track IR would really help here. Oh shoot, okay. I'm, uh, I'm off. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, I need track IR. That was bad. Okay, well, one try only, darn it. Okay, I think it's touchdown in the blue box, right? Not st uh, stop in the blue box. Again, it's a Grand Caravan. Ooh, but why has, like, nobody else done these? Darn it. I mean, best score zero. And it says zero for me. I think the whole landing challenge thing is messed up, guys. Anyway, at least I'm recording it so that I have some evidence. Oh, maybe it's only counting uh, my friends, because Joyless Tunic is somebody I follow. Is that it? Okay, well, I got B. So, uh, landing precision, 47 feet. Ground roll, 65 feet. Landing smoothness. I like that. No, it's okay. Oh, here we've got the real scores. Okay. World top. Uh, that's more like it. All right. And, well, whatever. Logbook. All right, no restart. Landing challenges again. Okay, maybe there's some setting where I can tell it to show me all the scores. Svalbard, Norway. Okay, this one I definitely have not done before, I think. And it looks like it's snowing. Anyway, Cessna 152. How hard can it be? Okay, I totally did not look at the details. Um... <laughs> Sun's clear. Well, it's not snowing though. 
seems like a huge runway. I don't know what the difficulty is here. What's what's the catch? I, uh, do I see the blue box? I'm coming in really low. That was worse than the Grand Caravan. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Grand Caravan's really sturdy. Uh, 819,264. Uh, Joe's Tunic got me there, too. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um... The landing smoothness was really bad. Okay, next. Aspen. With something completely different, a Cessna citation. Stuff going from, uh... Other Cessna. A little tiny propeller Cessna to a Cessna citation. Okay, so we go straight, 160, hang a left, 140, hang a right. 1.30, okay, seems to be uh, like sunset or dawn. Feels like dawn. Whoa, it's got a lot of extra lift and my eye point is not right. And I have no, uh, no instrumentation. That's probably because of a mod, I bet. Okay, well, it's it's fine. It's fine. I'm okay. I've got the backup. Yeah, I think I have a mod, a working title uh, Cessna Citation mod that might need updating. Okay, we are with gear down. I, mean, I see that there too, the landing gear indicator, but it's always good to check. So, uh, I'll probably want the backup map. To verify that I'm doing this, okay. That's okay. So it's like that. I see. We want to sort of clip the foot of this hill. I think that's the purpose here. Well, that was not the best turn ever. Oh shoot, okay. I'm coming in fast. Okay, a little bit short and fast. Okay, uh, are we done? Are we done? Achievement unlocked, it said. Eh, that wasn't very good. Joe's Tunic got a better one than that. Uh, 477. Not too much of a surprise. That was hard. I mean, uh, not difficult. I mean, I landed hard. Uh, of course, uh, we'll have high scores there. Okay. Next up. Booga Laga. Booga Laga, Booga Laga. It's a good name. Okay, well, it's the Grand Caravan. I like the Grand Caravan, so hopefully it'll go well. Oh, we have to go all the way around. That's interesting. So we'll overfly it, but it's probably really hard to see. Okay, 100 going in, 78 knots there, they say. I'm not sure I'll go with that. But basically, you have to go a whole circuit along the hills. And it looks like that. Oh, joy. Uh, well, you've got the full instrumentation, though, this time. <laughs> it's not like... Uh, wait a second. Uh, okay, okay, I see what's happening. I don't know how high this WX-53 really looks like once we get around, though. Well, let me get close to these hills to give myself as much room as possible. 
It looks like it's going to be pretty high up given the relief map there. I haven't done a very good job of lining up with the runways today. Oh, no, this time is not so bad. I can see it pretty clearly. Uh, it's one of those upsloping ones. That's always. Uh, have you got a lot of trees up front? Oh, and we're getting slow here. Oh gosh. Uh. I think my. Oh, is this really it? <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. That. I'll see what the menu says. <laughs> Did you count that? <laughs> uh, is that an attempt or not? I sure ain't getting a number for that. I mean, was that a, a really the runway? Hold on. All right, activities. Uh, landing challenges. Well, I'll, I'll give that one a go again. 6,121 feet. This does not look like what I just went through, but uh, I guess it has that little bit of upslope. I really need to... Maybe I should overfly it. Uh, maybe I should go on the exterior view to take a good look first before I try to touch down. That looks very nice right there. Okay, I mean, that's that's looking really nice right there. Did I go for something else? Okay. But, I mean, yeah, it must be it, right? But I think because of my tree mod, I might have too many trees in the way. And isn't it at 6,100? I'm too low for to be. Hold on. Oh gosh. Yeah, I think. Uh, let me just do a different uh, re approach to it. I don't think this is right at all. Oh, see, it's there. Yeah, the part that I thought it was isn't where it is. I was doing the wrong thing. Wow, we're really close to stalling. Let me get back inside. Hmm, okay. We need to just come in a lot higher. Well, I'm getting some more experience with this one anyway. Okay, I can see, I, I can see the blue mark there, I think. Right? Okay, let me get over here a bit. Oh, I can't see it anymore. Shoot, stupid trees. Okay, 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 okay. Now we can do this, I think. I was aiming for the upslope on the left-hand side there instead of the actual runway.
a tree's sort of in the way. <laughs> Uh, I'll take it, whatever it is. At least it landed this time instead of crashing. Ah, 514,000. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't very smooth at all. Okay, Karshavel. Well, I've done this before. Don't remember if it was in a TBM. Our configuration is gear up. All the other ones had gear down, including the citation. Now, if you don't mind. And they also had flaps down, too. Oh, I'm going really fast. Uh. Well, I can probably do it. Remember that I remember the challenge for Kershevel was like a Robin DR four hundred instead, though. Um, when they did the weekly challenge for it. Okay, and I also remember it's a little bit weird because the slope is up. Ah. Uh, didn't quite get it. No, oh, 660. At least it's a B. Take a B at this point. Okay. Right. That one. Next. I'm doing this right one one after another. Lukla. And this with the Grand Caravan. 9,180 feet. Cloud. Oh, I better double check. Yep. Uh, we've got some flaps. Everything is good. Mm. Oh, wow. We're really slow now. So it was 9,000, wasn't it? 9,000 feet? Oh, there it is. Uh, it doesn't look like too much of a problem. I mean, this is not the fastest plane. We're going really fast right now, though. Floating a bit. The vertical speed indicator is not great because there is an upslope. So it's tough to say what my vertical speed is on something like that. Well, another B. Yeah, it's uh, because it's an upslope, I can't look at the vertical speed indicator and go, oh yeah, well, you know, I'm good, I'm close to zero. Or anything like that. No, not very smooth. Same problem, landing hard each time. Might be a little bit tired after all these, I don't know. Oh, this is um, basically sea level. Citation. 
snowy again. I guess they figure snowy is hard, but well, we'll see. I mean, not being able to see the runway, it's just straight in, though. How hard can it be? Okay, okay, yes, and of course I still have the issue with the instruments. Um, it's a little bit harder to see the backup. I think I'm supposed to aim for that little strip to the left there. Okay. How's, uh, it's reading gear down, so that's fine. Might be missing what the big deal about this one is, but... Come on, come in gently, please. Uh, I floated. I think I did. I bounce, or was that just nose up? Oh, it's another bee. I'm I'm pretty consistent now with the bees. Uh, 321. Yeah, I floated a little bit too far. Okay, Mabui... Mabui... Mabuyag Island? Mabuyag? Alright, well, runway is pretty clear on this one, and that's sea level. So that's nice. Uh, it looks like we do a U-turn. I think I remember doing something like this for a Japanese island as well. On the earlier challenges, the famous ones. But this runway is much clearer. Whoa. Well, not anymore, apparently. Okay, well, if it's raining, that's a different story. Ah, uh, okay. I can't see a darn thing. Well, now we're talking about a challenge here. Now we're talking. I can't see anything at all. Why didn't you guys do this sort of thing earlier? <laughs> Is this just because it's the actual weather in the area right now? Or was this programmed into the challenge? I can't even tell. I can see the water now. All right, turning. Okay. It's got the whole display in front of me though, so I can actually see the runway even though I can't see the runway. Sort of cheating. The wind is all over the place, though. I can't make that runway right now. I don't know. I can't see where it is. Uh, 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 yeah. That's uh, gotta be a bit more problematic than just using the instrumentation there. Okay. All right, but but we can make a go of it. I'm just gonna go around again. Ah, uh, can we tune this a little bit? That would be better. Having these fancy instruments can be deceptive. I don't know, could they have put the lights on for me at least?
Oh, 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 okay, 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 we got it. Um. Well, I'm coming down this time. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. F screw it. <laughs> uh, no! I'm in the water! I crashed into the water. I'll try it one more time. They should just, just give me an F so I can move on, but they won't give me a score, so it'll look like I haven't done it before, and I'm not allowing that. No cheating. Oh, now it's clear! It's just totally random. It wasn't even supposed to be like that, I guess. That sort of sucks. People are getting uh, different conditions for the landing. It's not right. Or maybe it was a temporary bug or something, I don't know. Oh no, there's a storm growing. Let's, let's turn around quickly before the storm obstructs our view again. It seems to have moved on. I think it uh, moved north, clearing the scene for us. But gosh. Would've been nice to make it, make the landing in the original, the, the weather we had last time. That would've been spectacular. Whoa, whoa, we are being tossed to the, uh, one way or another at least, uh, to the right a lot. I mean, a lot, a lot. Uh, uh, see, that, that that roll is not... I was actually tilting left and the roll was very hard to the right. Anyway. Uh. That was faster than I wanted. Oh, shoot. Here we go again. <laughs> this runway is too short for this. Uh... Stop! That was a B. <laughs> okay, well, fine. Uh... But it's a really short runway, so I guess there's not a whole lot of landing precision that you can be off by. Uh, congratulations to the people who were really good at this one. All right, next. I haven't gotten an A yet. Okay. I thought Paro was even, oh, the game crashed. Well, okay. That'll cause me to take a break. Okay, game restarted after it crashed when I tried to start the Paro flight. Let us try that again. This is gonna be a whole lot different than flying the ones that I've been flying so far. First airliner. I remember the video, you go towards this mountain, go to the left and then hang a right. It is a rainbow. Right? Um, is that the runway? Oh, there we go. Wow, it took a while for the map to show up. Yes, so it's like uh, I remember from the Mentor Pilot video. Uh, there's a little loading thing in the corner there. That's worrisome to me, considering the recent crash. Um, our landing gear is down. And turning. Oh, there's the runway. Right by that mountain, it's... Oh, I'm doing the same mistake as that airline pilot that they had... Uh, that they were talking about, I think. Well, 
Well, maybe I'm doing better. <laughs> Marginally better, hopefully. Oh, son. One hundred, six, fifty, forty, thirty, twenty. Ooh, ooh. Oh, 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 oh. That was too hard. I misjudged where my landing gear was because I've been in shorter planes. <laughs> if you can believe that. Yeah. The the other planes are sort of lower to the ground. Okay, how bad was it? Ah! Okay, just just to vindicate myself, I'm gonna do that one again. I'll, of course, you've seen the problem. Uh, so, I'm gonna do it again, darn it. Oh, so I think the auto throttle is on. I might wanna not have it do that. <laughs> I don't know, it's probably still gonna interfere with me. I hate the Airbus sometimes with its peculiar fly-by-wire system interfering with what I'm trying to do. Let me just see the external configuration. Yeah, okay. I think it was causing the plane to be faster than I was expecting. Hey, okay, turn to the left. Hey, my shadow. And then turn to the right. Just to avoid this hill here. Ah, uh, barely. We're supposed to turn off the altitude warning system, terrain avoidance system on this approach. 200, 100, 60, 40, 30, 20, ah, I did it again. I'm just gonna always do that. I, yeah, I'm, I'm coming in too strong. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll try and fix that, but that's hard. Well, improvement, but okay, let me try again. Uh, it's not a paro landing challenge video. Uh, uh, I can't get, uh... Oh, the auto throttle clicked on again. Okay, well... Uh, let me just reset the landing challenge. You know what? I'll just do a separate para landing challenge video to try and figure that one out. Uh, we will move on. So I couldn't do uh, the paro thing properly. We'll just move on and go on to the next one. First time in the King Air. Runway 30. I think I'm going in a lot faster than I like. Come on. Okay, nope. We're taking off. That was not good. Ah, it didn't like that. Touchdown was cancelled. Yes, it was. <laughs> well spotted. So, failure on the first try on that. Saba.
Runway length only 977 feet. Well, that would be a difficulty with the King Air. Jeez, I didn't realize it could stop in that length. <laughs> okay, yeah. 105, huh? Let me just approach much lower. The King Air is sort of a big lug, I swear. Not the best way to approach your runway, but shoot. We've overshot it the last time. Okay. Stop! How do I stop in 977 feet? Oh, shoot. Come on. How do I even do that with this plane? I, I swear I was at the blue marker and at the speed that they said in the little thing ahead of time. Um, activities. Uh, can you just give me an F? Please. <sighs> okay, I need a score of some kind. These, these, these last few are hard. Well, I need to be much slower than 105 knots on approach. But I don't know how much slower we can go here. It seemed like it had an ability to pull up even slower than 90 knots, so... It's encouraging. Okay, slow down, slow down, stop, please, stop, please, stop, please, stop, please, please. Oh gosh, oh no. No, oh, ah, ah. So much for one try though, but it hasn't given me a score yet, so I can't leave that be. But take take the multiple chances into account. Okay, I'm trying to go. I'm gonna try and approach real slow here. Uh, it could be dangerous. Can't even see where I'm going. It, stalling, stalling. Okay, I landed way ahead. But shoot, <laughs> I'll stop on the bloody runway. And that's what's important. Right? Right. Fine. <laughs> Fine. 371,000 for now. Landing position non existent, basically. Okay, next. St. Bartholomew. Okay. 2,000 feet. This seems like a luxury. But it is the TBM, though. But actually, the TBM can get close, uh, slower on approach. That's nice. Uh, okay, I'm confused. Where is it? It was pretty low. Shoot the sun. Okay, I see it now. Or do I? No, I don't. Uh oh. That was not it. Uh, okay, maybe I see it now. Uh. No. Okay, I, all I see is trees. 
What? Where is this T of FJ? Oh, it's here. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go around. Okay, now I see the problem. <laughs> yep, there's gonna be all sorts of pain and suffering. This approach. They really did save the tough ones for last. Uh, Paro, the previous one, this one, these are properly difficult. We should probably go higher initially and then come down space shuttle like or something. That might be the reason for the slow approach speeds. That sun being there though. Okay, so the airfield is beyond the hill. Okay, okay, I think I, it is a better view. There we go. Okay. Now we're in business. Not easy though. Well, I didn't crash into the hill. Uh, but I'm not gonna make it well. Uh, at least on the first actual landing attempt, I will stop on the runway. Let's take what we can get here. It's a bee! It says zero there, though. Anyway, it's a B. Barely. B for barely. Yep. Okay. One left. Honduras to Gucci Galpa. 6,638 feet runway length, 3,300 feet above sea level. And it's an A320. Again, so I'll have to turn off the flight director and the auto throttle. But I've not approached this airport before, so I don't know what the catch is. Oh, now we have no terrain view. Oop, clicked off and on. I think the catch is it's going to be much lower than the train we're over right now. Oh, there it is! Okay, um, we are going to come around here. I just couldn't see the airport. And turning towards it again. There it is. Ah, uh, okay. Turn, baby, turn. Okay. Now, now it's looking good. The passengers are in a serious state, though. Uh, Uh, again, too hard. Yeah, I don't have much experience with the A320, so that's my excuse. Really need to get some more. Okay. Well, we didn't kill it. Let's uh, see. All right, so that's how it turned it out. Turned out. Turned it out. <laughs> How it turned out, uh, much worse than last time, I think, with the famous ones, right? Uh, well, some of them good, some of them bad. Actually, I, 
Did better on some of the airliner ones. Hey, we didn't get a 747 one. That's not fair. Okay. So, yep. Those, that was how I did, uh, in some cases, more than one try. Uh, so, take that into account. But uh, I had not seen the, the challenges until trying it out for this video. Except, I think I had done the Iceland challenge before. And I don't remember why, or it says new, so I guess they must have revamped it somehow. But anyway, there you have it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.